my home. Actually bought this house and it was a huge remodel. So in 2016, it was only 1,500 square feet. The property is about an acre. Things that stayed was obviously the property, most of the trees and this exterior wall, but it was all closed off really dark and kind of sad. One of the biggest things that I wanted when we did this remodel was to make sure that we vaulted the ceilings, added a fireplace, made sure that I had enough room to put all my collectibles and my tchotchkes and stuff, which we built those, they're beautiful. And then also just have this really amazing inviting space that was open to the kitchen with lots of natural light. Everything in this space is, if it's not vintage, it was from my store, Shop Amber Interiors, and we design a whole huge line of custom furnishings. So all of the pillows are from shop, those chairs are from shop. Get this little piece right here. It's stripes, it's another stripe, it's another variation of stripes, but also kind of a pattern. Putting them all together, because I took the tones of one space, took the tones from the rug, and then I layered these on, it never feels like it's too much. It just feels like there's a story to it, but it's not, too many stripes or too thematic or too anything. It's really just made to live in. I actually wrote a book that's coming out October 27th, available at all fine retailers everywhere, including Shop, Amazon, Target, Barnes & Noble, the whole shebang. This we designed to look like this old church pew, which is so cool. Um, it's a custom, cushion on it, like a French tucked cushion. All of the pillows also from shop, and then these amazing chairs are vintage, but um, stay tuned, there might be some coming out soon. And when I was designing the house, I said, okay, all I want is a La Canache stove, I want it in black, and I want brass details, and that's literally what we got. So we built the kitchen kind of around the stove. Walking in through to one of my favorite rooms in the whole entire house is the family room. This is where I do the majority of my, well, everything. The pergola design, I designed because I wanted it to just feel really grand and special in here. I love all things California and this just felt very wine country, very, I don't know, it could be anywhere, but I really like feels like this old amazing space that's been here forever but it has not. I really loved having you guys today AD. I've been sort of dying to show the space but I've been waiting for the perfect guest and you guys have been the perfect guest so thanks for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed it and see you later for now.